This one's wife. Puck Bunny. Was it her? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Yesterday, I provided you with two videos in relation to apparent true information about this one's wife. The first was a suggestion that David Letterman had roasted this one's wife and that he made reference to it in his interview on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. I demonstrated comprehensively that that simply did not happen, and therefore the video that appeared on an alternative channel was completely made up, false, and probably defamatory. There was a second video which had suggested that this one's wife had offered herself sexually for money to hockey players, to Canuck players in Canada. Similarly, I also demonstrated that that was false. And, for the purposes of good order, it behooves me to share with you further information that demonstrates that that story was a complete crock of shite. One of my readers, Jay, has kindly provided me with a more forensic breakdown based upon his knowledge of the NHL, and he has lived in both Toronto and Vancouver, so he has played close attention to the teams based in those cities, who are the Maple Leafs and the Canucks. He identified further inaccuracies from that video, namely, Peter Holland has never captained the Vancouver Canucks. Between 2019 and 2021, the period that that video maker claims Peter Holland captained the Vancouver Canucks, he actually played for Atvo Mobilist Yekaterinburg in the Russian Professional Hockey League, KHL. Peter Holland has never played for the Vancouver Canucks. Peter Holland played for the Toronto Maple Leafs from 2014 to 2017. Peter Holland never captained the Toronto Maple Leafs. Dion Phaneuf captained the team from 2011 to 2016 after which the position remained vacant until John Tavares was named captain three and a half years later. I include all of this because Jay has helpfully given that information to me, along with appropriate evidential sources supporting what he has explained. I do this for two purposes. The first, accuracy, and to demonstrate even further that the video that was produced on the other channel is a load of nonsense and demonstrating, of course, that how dangerous that is because it plays into the hands of this one's wife. And also, because I regularly explain to you that it is important to go to the evidence. Not just in the context of dealing with this one's wife, but whenever you're dealing with a narcissist. Because a lot of the time, there is misinformation about narcissism, and you can be misled by your own emotional thinking. There are many, many instances... An example of which is, I had a client who believed that she was being hoovered incessantly by a narcissist. I took her to the evidence and we found that it only hoovered four times in two months. Q, very relieved client. I took her to the evidence. And I do this time and time again. Because of my intelligence and psychopathy, I am very much a dealer in evidence and logic. And I want to instill, instill rather, that approach amongst all of you to how you deal with narcissists and, of course, with regard to the examination of material about this one's wife. I explained yesterday that creating videos of this nature plays into her hands because it affords her the victim narrative of which she's so proud that she uses so regularly, that she would be able to, if she were aware of the existence of these videos, to say, see, this one suggested that David Letterman roasted me and then talked about it on Steve, with Stephen Colbert. That never happened. This one suggested that I prostituted myself with Canadian hockey players. That didn't happen. Now, whilst it appears to be the case that she was hanging around Canadian hockey players, there's no actual evidence to suggest that she prostituted herself in the way that has been suggested. And therefore, the creation of videos of that nature merely affords this one's wife an opportunity to say, see how they hate me, see how they lie about me, this is what I have to put up with, oh, woe is me. Do something about it. This then led a number of you to query 
But might this have been something that she actually set up? Could it be that this one's wife organized for these evidently and obviously false stories to be put out there about her so that she could then turn around and say, Oh, look, I'm being hated on again. Woe is me. Feel sorry for me. This is what I have to put up with. Did she disseminate this Letterman and Holland information to create videos that are a clear fabrication so that she can then claim, see, they continue to lie about me? Well, this is certainly something that a narcissist would do. As you know, certain narcissists cause problems so that they can then come along and appear to solve them. They're both fire starter and fire fighter. Thus, for instance, the narcissist might remove an item that belongs to you and you're frantically searching for it, and then they come along and find it for you and receive your gratitude, even though they created the problem in the first place. Or the narcissist provokes a fight with you, which they then seem to want to resolve with you, perhaps resulting in some makeup hanky panky. You feel relieved, but you're actually only relieved in relation to a problem that the narcissist created themselves. This is a common tactic of manipulation. Other narcissists may create a problem to engender pity, sympathy, and support, Jesse Smollett being an excellent example of that. And of course, given the fact that this one's wife is a narcissist, it creates a distinct possibility that she may well have orchestrated the creation of these videos for the purpose of ensuring that she could then utilize them to criticize the media, to criticize content creators, and to seek to engender sympathy. However, this one's wife regards herself as very important and therefore requires stories about her to be covered at an international and national level. Her grandiosity as a middle mid-range narcissist demands this. Hence, this is why she regularly doles out puff pieces and they're sent to well-known publications. They don't appear in random blogs or hidden corners of the internet, but rather you get to read about them in the Daily Mail. Tatler, Harper's Bazaar, Hello, OK, People.com, etc. She wants to ensure that the press releases that she pumps out, the sympathy pieces that she evokes, the lies that she might disseminate, are picked up and are carried by major publications because she believes that she merits that level of attention. And therefore, it means it's highly unlikely that she would bother with an obscure YouTube channel which has around about 1,600 subscribers. It's simply beneath her. Furthermore, the puff piece publications are easy to control. You pay them, give them a press release, and away they go, and they do the job. A small YouTube channel is more likely to be maverick and less reliable with regard to the issue of control. Furthermore, the content was too easy to dispel. This one's wife prefers to leak information which is harder to dispel, that sits within the realm of ambiguity, the plausible deniability that is often used by narcissists. For example, was there or was there not an invitation to King Charles III's 75th birthday? She says that they weren't invited, there's others that say that they were, and they declined it. It's a he said, she said situation, and of course, the palace isn't going to start producing records of what it has done, and therefore her narcissism recognises that, and therefore prefers to disseminate information which has plausible deniability about it, as opposed to something which is clearly, with a little bit of investigation, false. Furthermore, it's clear from the nature of that particular channel that it's simply clickbait, that's aimed at garnering views rather than any form of accuracy. The content that's regularly provided by that channel contains many inaccuracies and is solely done to cause controversy. Again, it would be too obvious as a vehicle. It lacks subtlety. And in the circumstances, the fact is, it's more likely that it's just used there as a vessel for garnering likes and views as opposed to actually being utilised by this one's wife as a propaganda tool. Accordingly, whilst it is an entirely understandable question, might she have created these videos through somebody else in order to further her agenda? 
On this occasion, the evidence suggests that she would not have done so. That's not to say that she isn't a fire starter in other respects. She is. We've seen many instances of that. But it's the level at which she wants to operate, combined with the grandiosity of her narcissism, which means she wants the national and international coverage, not a small, obscure YouTube channel. Once again, this is about going to the evidence and making your determination, and also using that to help you understand more about the way that the narcissist behaves. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.